Hello friends and fans, this is Thomas OG Vazin here, and I'm back with another unboxing and review video. And in this video, I'm going to be opening up two of the bestest friends on the island of Sodor from the Wood Range. I of course am talking about Thomas the Tank Engine himself and Percy the Small Engine. But these aren't the only two engines I'm going to be opening up in this video. For I'm also going to open up... Ta-da! The Day On With Thomas exclusive, Thomas. And as a reminder, I do have duplicates of these that will stay in the boxes, but these ones are going to be open up. I chose these ones specifically because there's some damage to the boxes. Especially this one. <laughs> I noticed how warped that plastic was <laughs> after I got the engines. <laughs> so yeah. I'm going to be opening up all three of these. Now, the other three engines, Ashima, Emily, and Nia. Yeah, sorry, I almost forgot Nia. <laughs> uh, brain's not working right now. We'll be opened up in another video another time. But in the meantime, let's get started with these engines. And the first of these Thomas Wood engines I'm about to open up will be the Dea with Thomas Exclusive. Dale with Thomas 2019 Thomas. Yeah, this will be the first one. And to be honest, this will be my very first Thomas and Friends Wood unboxing. Yeah, when I first heard about Thomas and Friends Wood back in 2017, I was skeptical. Then when I saw the images of the unpainted versions, I was kind of put off. But you know what? Over time, I started to get used to them. Just a little bit. Not so much that I would buy duplicates and take them out of the boxes. Oh, no. No. Just keep them in the boxes. But then when I heard that they were going to fully paint these engines, well, my curiosity was piqued immediately. And when I first saw images of these engines, I thought, okay, I'm definitely going to buy, I'm going to definitely be buying duplicates of these guys. <laughs> uh, my speech is messed up again. We'll keep that in there. <laughs> Just for fun. Yeah. But yeah, I was definitely interested in them. And when I first saw the images for Dale with Thomas Thomas, well, I knew that I wanted to get one. And here he is in all his glory. And soon he'll be out of the box. Sorry, I think I developed a perp there. <laughs> so yeah. I got two Thomases immediately when I was at Dale with Thomas. The first items I picked up. I was super excited to find this one. Anyways, enough about those stories and enough of me rambling. Let's actually have a look at the engine in the box. Thomas's face is mostly covered up by the price sticker. But you can see his face. And there's a ticket that says, Down with Thomas 2019. And here's the engine in the box. And of course, we'll have a good look at this engine once he's out of the box. Man, I can't wait to hold this engine in my hands at last. And of course, this engine, along with many others, will be running on my wooden railway tracks in the near future when I do another wooden railway running session. Now, in case you're wondering, am I going to get any rolling stock for the Thomas and, Friends, Thomas and Friends wood line? The answer is no. Now, I'm not that interested in that rolling stock. The candy cars, not that interested. Annie and Clarabelle, mm, nope. I'm sorry, they, I just don't like the looks of those ones still. But, you know, I mainly went for the engines, and that's pretty much what I got. <laughs> and now, without any further ado, I'm going to put the camera down on my HO scale controller for my layouts. Hopefully the camera stays put. Okay, there we go. And let's finally get Thomas out of the box. Here we go. Okay, and here's Thomas. Not the smoothest finish I've ever felt. A little bit bumpy, but you can actually feel the texture. So... In a way, I guess that's pretty good. All right, so let's, let's have a look at Thomas's front. 
He actually has a painted buffer beam, although his buffers aren't black, but you know what, that's okay. He's got a buffer beam. He's got a buffer beam. <laughs> I think only the Tomy Thomas Wooden Railway version of Thomas had that. I'm not 100% sure because I don't have that said Thomas, so don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on that. And let's have a look at him from the side. As you can tell, he's got these, uh, what are they? Oh, my brain's drawing a blank here. Well, he's got the ticket on his side and these, well, I'm just going to call them pictures for now because my brain is not working well. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he's got all these on his side, which looks pretty good. And here's the other side with even more of these. And he's got a few on the top. Looks pretty good. And then here's the bottom where it says Dale with Thomas 2019. Hmm. You can really feel that. Yeah. It sounds a little different when you're holding it in your hand compared to a Thomas Wooden Railway engine. And in fact, I'm going to go get a Thomas Wooden Railway engine right now and do a little comparison between the two. Be right back. And just like that, my learning curve, Thomas, magically appears. <laughs> yeah. So, this is pretty much the old wooden railway Thomas. And I don't know why it sounds a little different compared to this. I mean, listen to the sounds. Yeah. Sounds a little different. And, like I said... This Thomas has a smooth finish, whereas this one doesn't. Oh. But you know what? That's okay. Now for the ultimate test to see if they can couple up. How about that? Thomas Wood can indeed couple up to Thomas Wooden Railway. So that's cool. Can they couple up face to face? What? Huh. Well, I guess they can, but it's going to be very weak. Hmm. Definitely a lot stronger the old-fashioned way. Hmm. But anyway, since I do have my old Thomas, which actually came from the Instant System set number one uh, here, we might as well take a good look at the differences between the two of them. Oop. Uh... Okay, obviously is the face. This is the old Model Train series face. And then this is the new CGI style face, which is a little smaller and actually shows a little bit of the front of the smoke box. But that's okay because it's kind of railway series based. And I do like that. Now, from this side, uh, you can see Thomas's wheel arch on this one is pretty darn small. Whereas on the wood version, it's a lot bigger. And let's see, are the cabs the same size? No, the wood one's actually a little bit bigger. Hmm. And the coal is different too. This is just black here. But you can actually see some coal on this one. So that's pretty cool. Uh, backs are just plain blue. And this one's just flat. And as for this one, well, you can see there's a little bump back there. Part of the old style of the old Thomas Wooden Railway. So yeah, the Dale with Thomas version of Thomas looks pretty darn good. Now what am I saying? Do I love Thomas Wood more than Thomas Wood and Railway? No. <laughs> I like Thomas Wood in a way because there are some elements of it that I do like. <laughs> but I'll always love the Thomas Wood and Railway. It brings back so many wonderful memories from my childhood. And this... Well, I guess in a way it does continue the trend of the happy memories. So, yeah. There's that. But overall, I really do like the 2019 version of Thomas from the Dale with Thomas lineup. And honestly, if you're ever at Dale with Thomas and you see one of these things, I highly recommend picking one up because, really, he looks great. Yeah, he looks great. And I look forward to riding him on my wooden railway tracks in the not-too-distant future. 
But that's not the end of this review. Oh no, we still got two more engines to unbox. So let's get the next engine out. Are we seeing double here? No, this isn't another Dale with Thomas Thomas. This is in fact the standard Thomas. Yeah, I'll fully admit that uh, there were no unpainted versions of Thomas at Dale with Thomas. They were all fully painted. That goes for the standard Thomas, the Dale with Thomas Thomas, and the birthday Thomas. All of them were fully painted. And I think some of the wooden railway, or not wooden railway, Thomas Wood said Thomases were fully painted too. I think I didn't really take a good look at him. But anyway, let's have a good look at Thomas in his box. As soon as I can get my hand out of the holster here for the camera. Keep it steady. Okay. So here's Thomas's box. And there is his CGI promo picture again. This is what he looks like inside the box. Honestly, the 2019 fully painted models look a lot better than their unpainted counterparts. Even though I do have quite a few of the unpainted counterparts, I do like the fully painted ones a lot better. So, to Mattel and Fisher Price, you get a thumbs up from me. Because, honestly, this is a step in the right direction. So, thank you. And, you continue the Thomas Wood line. I hope you continue to do so with future releases. I really hope so. Anyway. Here's the back of the box where it says, Meet the Story Starter. You want to read the info? Just go right ahead. All right. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this Thomas out of his box. Ah. This box did it to me. Ugh. Some of these boxes do this to me. Why? Why? I don't know why. All right, so here is the standard Thomas. Yeah, he doesn't have all the banners on him. There, that's what it is, the banners. That's, what on, that's what's on this Thomas. Ah. Ugh, come on, brain, wake up, wake up. I know I'll be going to bed soon, but come on, stay awake. Just for a little bit longer, please. <laughs> all right, so again, he has that nice CGI face and little space around the smoke box which is pretty cool you know now I can imagine Thomas being a railway series engine and I do like the fact that they got that space there for the wheel arch uh, definitely makes it look like the wheel arch is actually there <laughs> so that's pretty cool that's pretty cool not a smooth finish on this Thomas either but you know what that's okay and there's where his dome would be. I don't mind the fact that the engines don't have domes on them. So you know what? Still looks pretty good. And for the design, it just works. It really does work. Let's see, is there any noticeable differences between the two Thomases? Honestly, not a whole lot. Other than the fact there's no ticket and no uh, banners on that Thomas. They can indeed couple up back to back. Oh. Okay, they can't couple front to front. Okay, so I don't know what that was earlier. <laughs> Still, I'm very happy to have this Thomas. And I look forward to running him on my wooden railway tracks in the near future. And now, let's get his best friend in the whole wide world out of his box at last. And our last engine in this review video is indeed Percy. And as you can tell, Percy has a slightly damaged box. I didn't notice that when I picked him up. <laughs> it's a good thing I bought two copies of this Percy. I also bought the unpainted version of Dale with Thomas. <laughs> why? Well, why not? <laughs> Plus, like I've said many times before, I want to show the transition from the unpainted versions to the fully painted versions. And now I'm going to put the camera down one more time. So that way we can have a good look at Percy in his box. He won't stand up on his own. Watch. Yeah. The box will just fall over. 
but that's okay. I'm going to be opening up this box, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> anyway, there's Percy's CGI promo, though his face is covered up by the sticker. But you can tell that's Percy back there, and this is what the engine looks like in the box. And also says, real wood. Hmm. Well, I'm glad to see they're still using actual wood for these engines, and not some cheap plastic product. I think that was one of my main uh, skeptic thoughts when I heard about Thomas Wood was, are they just going to go for cheap plastic materials? Well, judging from what I felt on Thomas here and Thomas, <laughs> nope, I haven't felt that. I haven't felt that at all. Anyways, there's his picture on the back and there's his info. I don't know if you guys can read it that well, but if you can... Just pause your video and have a read. All right, now that we've had a good look at the box, let's get Percy out. Come on, Percy. Don't cause trouble for me like Thomas did. Good, Percy. Good. All right, now for a different engine. It's Percy the small engine, and there's his face. It honestly doesn't look very creepy. I think I heard someone say once that the Percy face looks creepy. I can't remember who or when I heard that, but you know what? The face looks pretty good to me. And like Thomas, he's got a buffer beam. So that's pretty cool. I love the fact, too, that they gave Percy this little space here for his... Um, I'm going to call that his sandbox. I think it's a sandbox. If you guys know what that is, uh, let me know in the comment section, okay? I love the fact, too, that Percy actually has red stripes on him, whereas the old learning curve Percy didn't. And in fact, I'm going to go get that learning curve wooden Percy and show you for, your, for yourselves. So I'll be right back. Is Lady around here? Because these engines are just magically appearing in front of us. <laughs> nah, just me. <laughs> anyway, here is the old learning curve Percy, one of the first ones. Actually, I think this one's from, oh, what year is this one from? 2001, actually. So this is the 2001 version of Percy. But it's still pretty much pre-2002, 2003 versions of the wooden railway engines. As you can tell, too, this Percy doesn't have the red stripes, whereas this one does. Now, the later learning curve Percy does have stripes and does have this kind of unique details and... You know what, for the heck of it, I might as well just go grab him. So, again, I'll be right back. Three Percy's. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, this is basically the later learning curve version of Percy. And he does have the red stripes on him, as well as the nice details at the bottom. But, as you'll notice with this Percy, the lines don't go all the way down the boiler. Whereas on the new wood version, it does go all the way down, much like the real engine. So, yeah, there's that. So let's have a look at all three Percy's together, shall we? From the side. Okay, so with this Percy, his coal bunker is just a black rectangle. This Percy does have lining for his coal bunker, but it's painted in, I think that's a very light gray. I'm not 100% sure on that. Whereas, the wood Percy does have the proper black coal bunker, which is what Percy actually has. I think Learning Curve and both Bachman had that same problem with this Percy, is the fact that, uh, well, this Percy and the Bachman Percy having the gray coal bunker back there. But, obviously, it's been rectified now. And, as we can look at the top, this Percy's got a black space on for his coal. Same with this Percy, but the wood version actually has very nice looking coal. So that's pretty good. Percy also has this little black space back here. So he doesn't exactly have that signature uh, straight line then goes diagonal uh, upwards towards his coal bunker. But, you know what, it does illustrate the fact that he does have that, so... It's a signature Percy look, so I can allow that. 
Mm -hmm. And also, too, as you'll notice with these Percy's, they don't have his cylinder. Whereas the wood Percy does have a cylinder. Now, again, looking at the top here, you'll see that this Percy and this Percy have basically a green dome. This Percy, although it doesn't have it in actual 3D plastic or 3D wood, does indeed have a green dome as well as a gold one, and by the looks of it, it's safety valves. So that's pretty cool. Really cool. Yeah. And of course, his name's on the bottom too, which is really nice. <laughs> yeah, three different versions of Percy. Three different eras. Two of Learning Curve, and one of the new Fisher-Price Mattel Wood Range. Now we'll just get these Percy's out of the way, and we'll continue our look at Wood Percy here. He's actually got steps on there. I just realized that. Holy smokes. They went above and beyond on this one. Hmm. Yeah. So overall, this Percy looks pretty good. Again, no smooth finish on this one, but you know what? That's pretty cool. And I just actually noticed these. These little metal pins underneath. I don't think the 2018 wood models actually had that. So, why are they here? Is it to keep the engine together? I'm not 100% sure on that. Hmm. Either way, the fully painted version of Percy does look pretty darn good. And actually, I just noticed, too, that with... These Percy's here, and I'll move them over like this, is that while well, these Percy's have closely resembling the same type of green, this Percy's green is a little bit different. In fact, let me show you. See? This one's a little bit darker, this one's a little bit lighter. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. And that's it, everyone. This is my review of the 2019 Dale with Thomas exclusive Thomas. A standard Thomas from the 2019 range and the 2019 Wood Percy. Overall, I've been wanting to give this range a fair chance and really just have a good look at it. Just to see if I would like it or not. Like I said before, with the unpainted versions, I was skeptical. Then when the fully painted version started coming out, well, my curiosity was piqued. And now that I'm actually holding these bottles in my hands, well, I can honestly say they feel good. They feel right. And they do have a little bit of weight to them, so that's a good sign. Really good sign. So, honestly, would I recommend these ones? Yes, I would. If you're not at all interested in Thomas Wood, that's fine. That is your choice. That is your opinion. Um, if you don't like Thomas Wood, you don't have to go out and buy them if you don't want. But if you are curious like I am and want to give this range a fair chance, then yeah, I would recommend picking these up. You can pick up Thomas or Percy at pretty much almost any toy store that sells these things. Like Toys R Us, for example, here in Canada. Uh, I'm not sure where you would pick them up in America. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, so uh, don't help me for that one, okay? But yeah, Toys R Us is definitely one place I would suggest picking them up. Or even better, Dale with Thomas, because they do sell Thomas Wood there. And while you're at it, you might as well pick up the Dale with Thomas 2019 version of Thomas, which looks really great. And yes, guaranteed, guys, I will have them run around on my wooden railway tracks one day with a 2015 car. I'm not going to bother getting it right now because I want to conclude this video. <laughs> so, yes, I do like these engines and I'm very happy that I got them. Will I get them all? Probably not. But, at least for two of the best friends on Sodor, I'm glad that I got them. And honestly, I'm starting to ramble. So, I'm just going to conclude this video here by saying, yes, I'm happy that I have them. And that's going to wrap up this video for tonight, and maybe I can give my brain a little chance to have a rest. <laughs> so, until next time, my friends, I'm Thomas Soe2000. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm signing off.